Hey you guys, it's Cassie, Dust Your Roses. Uh, welcome back to my channel, and if you are a brand new subscriber, if you just stumbled across me, welcome. I hope you like what you find here on my channel. Um, okay, so today I have this giveaway for you guys. It's something that I had planned for a while, um, and like I had the cover prepared and had the box and blah blah blah. Um, so anyway, I actually spent 10 days in the hospital uh, earlier this month and uh, spent some time in the COVID-19 ward, which was incredibly scary. Um, but I am currently COVID-19 negative and I am so, so, so grateful for that. Um, so anyway, this, this giveaway has a whole other new meaning <laughs> uh, that I hope no one ever has to experience that, um, but anyway, so let's get on with it. I will tell you how to enter the giveaway at the end of the video, but I want to show you all the treasures that are inside this fun little box here. Um, so it's just tied closed with this stretch of, like, ribbon. So it's a pretty long thing. You can use that in your projects, too. Um, okay, so it is a cigar box. I'm so sorry if I do cough. I, I do have, um, a cough still, which I had for a while before, but, um, I'm going to try not to. <laughs> okay, so inside the box, I have put in quite a few treasures. So I'm going to save the journal for last. There is a journal that comes with the giveaway. Um, I've made up this little bundle of vintage trims and laces. So that comes with the giveaway. Um, okay, so then here, just tied closed with a piece of lace. I've put in this place card which actually has little seashells on it um I just love it it is vintage and I had several others but I love this one like it has the most flowers out of all of the place cards that I had this vintage button card which is in really good condition except for these little pieces that kind of tore when they took the buttons off and then I've just got these three little um, wallpaper envelopes that I've made so you can use those in your projects basically I wanted to include um, a few of my like very most favorite things and so these are all things that I would use in my own projects and so I wanted to share them with you Okay, and then I've got this pretty piece of sari trim, so it's black. Okay, next, we got some labels. So I put in one of these. We've got a handful of these. I've got so many of these, so I wanted to share just a little bundle of them. This is probably my favorite label of any of them. And I only have a few, so there's that one. Of course, something with the rose on it. And then a French label. So next I have these postcards, which are just held together with um, this vintage clip here. Um, this one is French. In the back it has this very pretty script. Um, 
Melvin, which is embossed. It's very nice, very pretty. And then this one, which it is starting to peel a little bit, but I just think that looks so pretty um, and just adds to, I didn't show the back of that one. It's very plain. Anyway, all of these are antique postcards. And then I've got a letter, which is a congratulatory letter for a baby. But I just loved the stationery. It has this hole in it. And it's gilded. So that. And then a, an envelope. First flight envelope. Airmail. And then this French letter. Which is on very thin. Like, almost like tissue paper. Well, it's not onion skin, but it is very tissue-like. And then this is just an empty envelope. You guys know I love to use envelopes in my journals. This one is another letter. This one is a love letter um, from a wife to a husband. Just a vintage glossing envelope here. Got a vintage greeting card. This is one of my favorite cards. Um, it has this tucked in here. So it's a birthday card. And so that does actually come out. Um, but it survived all these years with that tucked in like that. And it's signed on the back. And then this is a calling card. So it's actually two layers. It's got a fan that says yours forever underneath and then the name. So this is one of my favorite calling cards from my collection. There's another that is just plain. Um, it's not embossed or anything but still really lovely. And then I've got a check, which is embossed here. Some receipt paper, some, it's Japanese to English dictionary pages, but they're very, very thin. I love to use these for collage or, yeah, for collage. Uh, and then this, which is um, a distillery certificate. And then a couple vintage prescriptions. Both have really pretty handwriting. Okay. And then a couple of milk caps. Which I love this one. Little baby on it. And then, of course, a rose playing card with some vintage German tape, paper tape. And some bus tickets. I think I put 20. They're just these tan British bus tickets. Some labels. These are my favorite labels. And I don't have just a ton, so I, I put six, I think, in that little roll. And then, last but not least, of the extra ephemera, um, just some vintage photographs. I love this one. Like your skirt is blowing up. <laughs> And then a classroom. Okay. All right. So the journal. 
Um, it is a very naked journal. I included a lot of things that you can use to embellish it, um, but I wanted it to be yours. And so I've only included very few uh, embellishments with it. <clears throat> Inside already, I mean. Uh, so on the front cover, so the outside is this vintage, um, like rose print fabric. And then I've just included my little label here. And then this vintage fabric, which is embossed and kind of shimmery. And then some sorry trim as a belly band. Uh, and then this other vintage postcard, which I think is to the same person that the other embossed floral, maybe. I don't know. I had a few to the same person, so I'm not sure if they're the same. Okay, so going inside, I just created this little corner tuck in the front cover. It's lined with vintage music book cover. Uh, this is handmade paper that has like this shimmery um, texture to it. used only vintage papers in this journal. So this is a receipt paper and I've just created this tuck spot here. Or pocket, sorry. And then this one has a pocket on this side. Corner tuck spot there. pocket. This is like a pasted together page. It's another pocket there. This is just a tip in. Um, I wanted to reinforce where I stitched on this trim. It's kind of a heavy lace trim um, so I just wanted to reinforce it so I've just run some washi there and then pocket there. Fold in as the center fold. And then this actually folds out like that. And I've just put some vintage wallpaper on the edge here. And this is like a tuck spot. <coughs> Excuse me. Another pocket. Another. Big tab, I love that. And then top pocket there, ruffles. This is a side pocket. There's three side pockets in a row, I think. Side pocket there, and a side pocket here. Love that. And that. this. And there's so many stamps on this receipt. I just fold the end up to create a pocket. And it's got a hole there. Love that. Okay, and then there's the back. So that's the treasure box. <clears throat> and um, so now on to how you can enter. Um, so I want to, uh, have you guys leave a comment. First of all, you have to be a subscriber and follow me on Instagram. I know most people will probably come here because they saw my post on Instagram, but, um, so be following me in both places. Follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. And in the comments, leave me what journaling means to you. That's it. So you can interpret that however you want. I'm going to read all the comments and um, pick the one that speaks the most to me. And uh, yeah, so that person will win this treasure box full of like all vintage goodies. And uh, yeah, 
Uh, okay, so the giveaway closes on Mo U.S., the United States Mother's Day. I know other countries celebrate Mother's Day on different days. Um, so I'll post the exact date. I think it's May 7th. I'm not for sure. Um, but I will post that in the description box of the video and as well as like all the rules and how you enter and all that because I, uh, YouTube rules say that you have to. Um, anyway, good luck everyone and um, thank you so much for watching and for subscribing and I appreciate every single one of your messages and kind comments. Uh, yeah, so good luck and have a great day.